This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Now, here's a question for you. What do the following songs all have in common? Learn to Fly by the Foo Fighters, Dancing Queen by ABBA, Crazy Little Thing Called Love by Queen, and Hard Day's Night by the Beatles. None of these songs sound remotely similar, it has to be said, but they do all use the same songwriting trick. It's called modal interchange, and that's what we're going to be looking at today. So I'll tell you what, uh, here's a little piece of music that I put together using modal interchange, and then a brief explanation as to what modal interchange actually is. Okay then, the moment you start thinking about which chords will or which chords won't go together, you inevitably end up uh, tackling the topic of keys, uh, which chords are related to each other by being in the same key, and which keys are related to each other as well. Um, the very simple way, I think, to um, figure out which, which chords are in the same key as each other is, and I, I spoke about this in a recent video that I did about light bulb moments that I had when I was learning to play the guitar. Um, basically, what you do is you do this little uh, three chord trick thing where you play that chord, any any fret, we're using a G chord here as our starting point, but this works on, you know, from any, any starting point, so that's a G chord, and then you stay at the same fret and do that shape, and then move up two frets with the same shape, and that gives you three chords, G, C, and D. Those are the three major chords in the key of G. So whichever chord you start from here, you will then get the three major chords in the key of that chord. And another thing I spoke about in that light bulb moments video uh, a while ago was when I stumbled across the whole idea of the relative minor. Um, so... I'll, as I say, I'll link to that video in the description, and if you want to know about the what the relative minor thing is, then go and have a look at that. But basically, um, every major chord has a relative minor, and the relative major chord, relative minor chord of G major is E minor. The relative minor chord of C major is A minor, and the relative minor chord of D major is B minor. So you've got three major chords, G, C, and D. 
and the relative minors of those three major chords, E minor, A minor, and B minor. So that gives you six chords, G, A minor, B minor, C, D, and E minor. That is, um, or those are, I should say, six of the seven chords in any major key. Six of the useful ones, the most useful ones that you'll come across most of the time. So that tells you which chords will go together in the same key. But, you know, in that chord sequence uh, at the top of the video, there were other chords in there. For instance, we had an F chord. We had a B flat chord. And we had a C minor chord as well. So where are they coming from? Well, this is where we start having to look at um, other keys that we can borrow chords from, other modes that we can go to. And that's what I'm going to explain right now. Okay, then here are the chords in the key of G major, as previously discussed. We've got the three major chords, G, C, and D major, and each of those has a relative minor. The uh, relative minor of G is E minor, the relative minor of C is A minor, and the relative minor of D is the B minor. And we also get one other little chord on the end there, as you can see, F sharp diminished. Every major key has a diminished chord, based on the seventh note of the scale. And in this case, F sharp is the seventh note of a G major scale, so we get an F sharp diminished. Don't worry about those diminished chords uh, in what we're going to be doing here, though. They are largely just here to make up the numbers in the context of what we're talking about today. What we now need to do, though, is figure out where else we can find um, a G major chord. And that is very simple. Take a look at the three major chords in the key of G. You've got a G, a C, and a D chord. Well, if we look at... Uh, the keys of G, C, and D. We've already got the key of G, so let's have a look at the key of C. You can see that there is um, a G major chord in the key of C. And the key of D, well, there's a G major chord in that key as well. And we're going to go one stage further here. We're going to say, well, what if we want something that's G-related but a little bit different in flavour? Well, we can get a G minor chord from the key of B flat, as you can see here. So what we've got here are various different modes of G. If we take the key of G major and reorientate it to the, or orientate it towards the G chord, we get the G Ionian mode. If we reorientate the key of C to its G chord, we get the G Mixolydian mode. And if we reorientate the uh, key of D to its G chord, we get the G Lydian mode. And the key of B flat, reorientated towards its G minor chord, is the G Aeolian mode. So what we're going to do now is uh, basically just have a run through that chord sequence again, and you'll see which one of the modes each chord in the sequence is coming from.
Okay, so you can see there that all we really did was figure out whereabouts you can find a G chord. Um, you know, all of the different keys that contain a G chord, or if you want a, a bit of a change in tonality, a G minor chord. Uh, figure out which keys will give us either a G major or G minor chord, then focus each of those keys on the G, or G minor chord, uh, make that to G tonality, the, the centre of gravity, if you like. And once you do that, you've generated a, a bunch of modes of G. And then write a chord sequence that uh, moves between those different modes of G. And when you do that, you're said to have been using modal interchange. It's sometimes also referred to as borrowed chords because you're borrowing chords from um, you know other keys other than the key of G major. It's an incredible incredibly widely used and popular songwriting method uh, you will find it in the work of well the Beatles spring to mind but you know Queen, ELO, ABBA, Foo Fighters, the list goes on and on and on and, you know, uh, very, very widely used, very diverse uh, range of uh, artists and bands who have made good use of modal interchange, so why not have a go yourself? Have fun with it. And of course, I will put up uh, a full chord chart for my little uh, piece of music there. Still haven't thought of a name for it, uh, but the, the, the thing that I played, I'll put up the chord chart for that and a backing track if you want to have a go at playing along to it. Um, also, I'll put up the video of me playing it and that little theory clip explanation thing there that we've just looked at. All of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address and the link is, of course, in the description. On Saturday, or I should say in Saturday's video, we're going to look at how you can construct a melody over the top of uh, this type of chord sequence, or any chord sequence for that matter. But this is a particularly nice type of chord sequence to come up with some melodic ideas uh, to use over the top of it so that's what we're going to be doing in Saturday's video uh, but that's for Saturday and uh, that is pretty much all I've got for you today hope you found the video useful informative and maybe a little bit inspiring and if you have please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not give me a like while you're at it don't forget the live stream 5 p.m uk time on Friday where we sit and have a beer and natter and chat about whatever crops up it's usually guitar or music related but all topics are a fair game it's a great way to kick off the weekend i'd love to see you there if you can make it if you're interested in supporting the channel as i say there's the patreon thing or a bunch of other links down in the description thank you so much to anyone and everyone who is supporting me in any of those ways and thank you in advance if you're thinking about doing it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thanks for watching folks thank you so much for your time look after yourselves stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now